déjà. Mateo versus Eton. Welcome back, Forts fans, to another 1v1 ranked replay commentary here on Synergy Gaming TV. A couple of superstars in this slugfest. Let me tell you a story, guys. Let's introduce our players. On the left-hand side, we have a member of the French community. It is Matteo. And on the right-hand side, we have the number one ranked player in Forts currently right now, as of January 30th, 2021. It is Eton. Okay, so doing the traditional incurses turbine up there. I like that. That's something you don't see very often. Uh, what is this map? Hang time. Hang time. It's always interesting to see how the players want to expand back here, whether or not they use ropes, how they want to do it. You can see just one rope here. Doing it quickly, trying to save as many resources as possible. These are the types of decisions that you new players need to do, right? Almost no nodes connecting to the outside. This is a lot of resources saved. Probably something I should probably learn as well. An additional mine going down there for Mateo. Uh, Eaton over here getting his mine as well. We've got the upgrade center and the armory coming down for Eaton. We've got the workshop coming down for Mateo. Are we going to see nukes on Nuke Island? Or is he just going to go lasers? Lasers are very common on hanging bases. Uh, due to the fact that once you get rid of the shield that's right here, you basically just saw right through and your opponent falls to uh, a very, very, very long death and destruction. Core finishing up for both players. We've got a lot building here on Eaton's side. We've got, uh, what do we got? Two turbines. We have Gary the gunner that's already there. Steven and Sammy the sniper removes the turbine because he's got more down here. He's going to build out, probably put another sniper up there. It's a very common sniper spot. Uh, upgrade center is just about to finish up. There it is. And we're going to have an AP sniper. I like to see that. And Mateo gets his sniper up here first. See, Eaton's done a little bit more building up here. Spent a little bit more resources where Mateo has not. So I'd like to see. There it is. I was going to see. I'd like to see some tier 2 technology coming from Mateo. He was doing such a limited build here. This is the Mateo that I know. The laser wielding son of a gun that wins all the time. So, I'm going to be very interested to see how lasers fares up against rockets. Eaton using his double sniper strategy. Okay. Uh, this is one of the games, one of the however many I'm, I'm commentating all in one day. Uh, like I've mentioned, there's an update coming, so I have to bash all of these out as quick as possible. So I don't want to harass the guys for more replays to give you guys more great content. But I am getting tired. <laughs> That's a lot of these to do. I think I have less than a day to get them all out. So here we go. We've got the uh, the rockets being upgraded. It's going to go straight into, or for the EMP, sorry, are being upgraded. And the AP sniper doing a little shot down here to make sure that was actually right where the gunner would have been. That was a great shot from Eaton. And we're hanging out here. And so Mateo's rocking the six, the six mines. He's got it down. And we have the turbines. Only two. Only two, so they're keeping their energy down low. AP Sniper's working pretty hard. Uh, Rocket's getting ready to fire. Eaton's got him on control, and the first shot. Mateo doing a little bit of a freak out. Oh, and they, they, they swooped up. If you saw that, he shot them, and they kind of like raised up there to hit there. Mateo's going to have a hard time making a comeback of this. He's going to need some sort of something here. No, he's not. He's just going to tank it. He's got the plasma and the fire beam down. He doesn't care. He's just going to tank it like a boss. Hit the F8 key, guys. We're coming up to four minutes here. Three minutes and 50 seconds. And what are we working with here? We are working with... Gunner. Shotgun, sniper. AP sniper, gunner, and two rocket launchers. This is savage. Mateo, look at that. Not even doing... Not even doing the full repair there. He's waiting on resources to get everything placed first. Oh, I expect no nothing less out of Mateo. What a great strategy there wielding his resources like a weapon and rockets coming in staggered this time now uh as we know staggering usually not the best because it gives you a little bit of opportunity to repair in between the the connection blasts ap sniper right on point all right getting the turbines down here so he has the opportunity to fire um i'm going to assume by the looking of the base that eaton knows lasers are coming okay he's got a lot of wood spam here in the front sandbags 
Uh, maybe some bait out here for making it look like cannons. That's a possibility. Cannons or maybe rockets or something like that. This cross bracing here is a little bit jank. Uh, probably given uh, Eaton a bit of a run around trying to figure out exactly what that is. But he's probably assuming or could assume that a cannon is down here. But uh, because of all this wood spam in the front, I don't think he's going to be expecting lasers. I think that's going to be a good, a good, uh, that's going to be a good opportunity. Building more down there. Things with that AP sniper put in some serious work. Rockets coming in from Eaton. Coming straight across. There we go. And, and even my voice is starting to, starting to go. I've been doing this for hours now. <laughs> Commentating for hours. The stress. The entertainment, the action, getting some of those repairs in there, more of the Swiss cheese. I know he's not too worried about it because some of this is going to get sold off here when, uh, or at least restructured. I'm hoping he's going to get more doors than just that. Uh, shooting right through the sandbags, no problem there. Rockets coming in here, going to hit the, uh, hit the cheddar cheese here. Not a problem though, right into the meat and potatoes of this vase. And we've got more rockets there. Eaton realizing that not a whole lot of retaliation is coming back. He hasn't had to spend any of his metal on defenses. He's just like, you know what? Forget it. I'm just going to go more rockets. Can't handle that. Mateo really struggling here. Having a hard a hard time figuring out what to do here. He's got some, some gunners that are being sniped. And another rocket volley coming from Eaton. Shotgun blast coming through here. Not doing a whole lot of damage. He's starting to turn things into back bracing. And we're going to get ready to see a shot here. Come on. What is going to happen here? Is he going to go for the weapons? Is he going to go for the snoot? Is he going to go straight for the win? He could. He could absolutely fire right through that. With the technology in front of his core, there's what? One piece of metal. Oh, it's a bit high. If that was a little bit lower, that would have been GG. If that was a little bit lower, that would have been GG. Oh, Mateo. Very surprised there. Typically, he doesn't miss like that. So unless he was intentionally aiming there. And Rocket's coming in hardcore here now. He's going to have a hard time keeping that repair up. Even with six mines, no upgrade center yet. So he's working with four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24 metal a second. Currently at this time, plus whatever the uh, core generates. Five, I think it is. Five or ten, maybe. Not quite sure. Great shot there. He managed to get something in front. He did wood spam. So he knows he was going straight for the core. Mateo doing a quick little test there. We got some jiggly jank ropey rope happening there. And uh, lots of fire. Uh, death and destruction. Swiss cheese in that, uh, in that cheddar on the front of the base. I don't know why I'm talking cheese language here. It's the thing of the French, I guess. Fromage! That was the worst French accent ever. Okay. And a shot going down there. We got gunners chilling here. And fire. Looks like... Oh, no. This is not good. Mateo's in serious trouble here right now. More rockets coming out of Eaton. This is going to be ugly. Shotgun. Look at that opening for the shotgun. Crazy rockets coming in like full volleys. This is not good. Mateo's going to be in serious trouble here. Going for that laser rush. Manages to pick off one of the mines. That is a 300 metal shot he just did right there. And took out one rocket. Little bit of, little bit of buzzsaw coming right there for the meat. Oh, goodness gracious golly me. Rockets coming in staggered now. Gunners are putting in some serious overtime. And manages to go right through the door and takes it out. I do want to clip on this, you guys, right here. Check out that little opening for the door. New players, start doing that. All right. Looking good. That saves on doors, saves on sniping, saves on a lot of resources right there. And Rockets coming in here. Is he going to get another blast off? I don't know. I have no idea how this map's going to end. Eaton's got a commanding commanding lead here, but a couple good laser shots could absolutely end this entire game. Okay, maybe not. Ugh, it's hard to say. Man, he's taking a pounding. And the buzzsaw coming in here to try and take out some of this uh, wood spam he's got going on there. Mateo's base not looking healthy right now. And fire beam coming in there, and the plasma, and he cuts it off! That's exactly what I was thinking! Exactly what I was thinking. That lasers, man. They can make a, a change like that. He lost everything. Eaton is absolutely on his back foot now. Has lost all map control. And this is going to give Mateo an opportunity to make a comeback. Oh, Eaton. What is he going to do? What are we going to see? Are we going to see him move into some tier 2 tech? Is he going to play the defensive game? Or is he just going to try and push out some more rockets? Only time will tell. And taking out the energy. Eaton in trouble. Lost everything with that shot there. 
I'm liking the uh, the metal he's got there. That's kind of a neat design. Something I haven't seen yet in a rank match. Shotgun blast just uh, it basically just to say hello. Basically does nothing. Uh, we've got the turbines hanging out here. Mateo not taking advantage of the bridge that goes back here to hide his energy. He's gonna instead keep it on the main base. This is very common. And sniper shots. Basically eating, just dialing it in, saying, "Hey, yo, Mateo, what's up? I'm here. Don't you forget." I'm not dead yet. And lots of wooden bracing. I like that. Uh, okay. He's going to do a little reconstruction. No, he's rebuilding. He's turning it into foreground bracing. He's going to get some more gunners here behind some doors. He's going for some tier 2 technology. Interesting. I'm surprised. I, hard to say. I never know what the choice is here. Five mines is a lot of eco, but six is a lot better if you're on the defense. He must be doing this because he knows he's not going to need those resources in order to maintain uh, map control at this current point. So... It's basic. He's look at Eaton just being a little weenie, eh? Just like me, pew pew pew. Nothing you can do. Nothing you can do. And that sniper is probably not gonna be able to hit him. Oh, look at that. Eaton just knows. It's like he's watching me cast this right now. Great shot from that hidden sniper right there. Okay, that is. Oh no! Great shot from Mateo. Absolutely going for that economy. Putting things in the back foot. We're getting another sniper down here. And a buzzsaw, it looks like. Oh, man, what a swing. I was not expecting that. But Eaton, Eaton had this game in the bag, and he lost it with one good blast from the lasers. Uh, Mateo going to spend a little bit of his time here, a little bit of resources, reorganizing this jankiness that he's got here is what he's calling his own base. Not exactly sure what his plan is. Things aren't quite connecting the way he wants them to. We got a couple of bracings across there. Sniper still just shooting away. Trying to pick off whatever he can to try and give himself a, an advantage. Anything that he can destroy of Mateos is going to give him a metal, uh, a metal lead, right? That's really important. Uh, working on that five mines. Getting that sixth one is really, really uh, difficult to determine in 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 this type of situation because you have that you have the opportunity here where you can just continually place down um, weapons and stuff. But 300 metal, the time it takes to acquire 300 metal can be the determining factor between getting off two fire beam shots versus one. All right, Mateo taking his time, realizing there's still not a whole lot of damage coming from here. He's going to... Um, he's going to reorganize the base a little bit more. Eaton, working on that tier two technology. Hopefully, if Mateo's ob observing, he's going to notice that there is a factory. You can see it just poking out right there. That should be a good indicator uh, for Mateo as he's got the shield coming down. Exactly. So he knows what's happening. He knows what's coming down. He's starting to get his base under control. That early game harass from Eaton was was legendary, let me tell you. It was pretty impressive. Eaton working on his doors, working on getting some stuff in here. Dual fire beams, that's going to get some probing done here. Mateo only has one. I don't think these doors are set up to resist fire beams. These ones definitely aren't. So you're going to see some fire beam shots coming in here. And he cuts right through, but unfortunately, Eaton already knew what was coming and had the doors in place. Looking good. We got some rocket harass here now. Mateo's like, you know what? Uh, how about no? And I'm going to hit you with what you hit me with. And now I'm going to cost you a ton of your resources. And now you can sit there and do absolutely nothing. No, I'm not spiteful at all. When people do that to me. All right. And we blew something up. What did we get? Fire beam is down. Sniper is down. Eaton using the fire beams to, to pick on the doors. That's exactly what you're supposed to do. Try and get those door snipes. And uh, Rocket's coming in here doing a little bit of damage. Hits that shotgun. Uh, otherwise, things are looking pretty rip-roaring ready to rock. What do we got coming down here? Buzz saws? Okay. And using the fire beams to go through the doors. Mateo not quite set up yet to resist the fire beams. Don't worry, guys. I have a hack for you guys on how to protect yourself with a single door. Uh, against fire beams. We're going to go over that in an upcoming video. Not to worry. All right. Fire beam coming in there. Going to take out another rocket. That one's probably gone. Uses the plasma beam to try and get a snipe. Unfortunately, Mateo seems to be out of resources. I would have assumed that he would have replaced the fire beam down there, but I think he knows the, uh, the amount of resources required to actually get that functional without losing it to fire beam snipe. Probably more than he's willing to spend right now. He's going to focus a little bit more on the rocket shotgun combination while using the plasma to try and get the door snipes. This is going to be hard. Hard to get through. He's going to have to use his uh, his prowess to try and get through the doors. Take out some of that stuff. Uses the shotgun to try and get a shotgun snipe there. And fails, but he does get what was ever out there. I think a gunner. 
What a great, what a great turn of events, you guys. This is a match for the record book, so he knows that that's, that's there. He does have his door set up to resist the fire beams, and he gets a shot. No! I missed it! Okay, we're going to put a slow motion replay in on that because my camera was not where it was supposed to be. We will put one in there, guys. What a shot from Mateo! What a crazy shot from Mateo, guys. That's Mateo versus Eaton. Pinch Fist versus Pinch Fist.